Earth. That's about all I got to say about Earth. It sure is Earth. Anyway, I went on some dates and looked at ladies. And I think we beat up some guys and some bugs. It was a really busy day. A really busy day. But now we must um, climb this moon river. You know, you're laying on the moon a lot thicker than... Oh. It's a status of new mission. We gotta find David. I mean, we learned about David last time, didn't we? He's tall. 6'3". What a man. The ones who suddenly appeared out of thin air took everything from me. As proof that I still lived, they left my flesh. All that remains of me in this world. We were once the rulers and magistrates of ages past. To cleanse this world would have been a simple task. But that was not what we wanted. We loved this beautiful planet the way it was. Gazing at the Earth from the moon was one of our few pastimes. That is why we will never forgive the poachers who robbed us of that pleasure. I am Moon River. We live on the dark side of the moon. Not only are we having to deal with wires and demons and executioners, now we also just have moon people, I guess. Please execute this man. He called himself David. David. Man, do you know where this man lives? On the dark side of the moon. I see. Of course, it's the dark side. If he's on the dark side, I'm afraid he's not within the country's jurisdiction. The light side is? How much will it cost? Forget it. The amount is far too much to be exchanged in cash. I like how his eye tracks. David destroyed your place. No doubt a foul creature. I'll execute him post haste. I'm a newbie to it. This job will be done for a one time discount. The price is your kiss. That ought to be worth more than money. <gasps> if you can, if you really can execute this man. I can start this job now, right? Vivian, a contract, please. Thank you very much. You can pay me when the job's done. I, 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 I'm just baffled at how little procedure and protocol there is for these people. It's just like the newbie just gets to say that, and they have to do it now. I can just go to the moon, I guess. Cool. Like, Brian meant that... It didn't take long to get to the moon. Felt like my insides were being crushed. Oh well, sucks to be you. I'm glad I decided to sit this one out. I wanted to go. <laughs> Say, Mondo, is it your first time on the dark side of the moon? Yeah, but I got this feeling of deja vu. Don't overextend yourself. If you need help at any time, we'll come no matter where you are. I'll be fine. You'll still be eating breakfast by the time I get back. So, in case you didn't know, the dark side of the moon is just the side that's tidally locked away from Earth, and is not in fact perpetually dark. The, that's how the moon phases work. Unless this house just moves to craters to stay in the dark side, which would be cooler, if anything. I just like how there's easy moon travel, there's moon jurisdictions. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> there's no oxygen. Why aren't I dead? Interesting. I can't swap my my sidearm. In fact, I can't do anything. He's just like this. 
Also, why is the game louder than last time? Now, I hope you can enjoy yourself. I thought it was fun. It's as boring as I expected. Okay, we're gonna have to change the volume a bit. Let's hope that helped. Nope. Blood level up, which increases my blood bar. It lets me carry more blood. Blee! Oh, you can actually hold it. <clears throat> One must be a consummate professional to keep the job. Mondo, that painting gives me the creeps. It's not a painting. It's a magical blood portal made of paint. There are subtle differences. This is all very normal. The world's changed a lot over the last few years. Mondo, my intuition tells me there's treasure in the palace. Can you get me some? Oh, I knew you would come find Well, I found the lady. Feel free to stop by any time. She's as much of a treasure as you imagine her being. She gives me blood, I guess. And blood's expensive. Well, that's uh, the benefit of doing that early, I guess. We get to get Scarlet. More ladies. And I thought I hid myself pretty well. <laughs> Color me impressed. Feel free to stop by any time you want. I'll be waiting. There's only two types of people in the world. There's old men and booby ladies. Them's the rules. I don't make them. Man, that's a bit tacky to have two polar bear carpets in one room. Door is eager to close. Oh, hello, eyeball. Oh, it is just—it's a caco demon. Hello.
Oh wow, gold man. A bit, it's a bit of a weird move. Mondo, it is very unprofessional to take personal calls in the middle of an objective mission. I don't want to piss in your pajamas, but Mondo, man. How do these women know about you and they decide to just call you randomly? Are you on Tinder? Mondo, what's your handle on Twitter? I just need to know. I just want to know what you put on your profile, alright? Oh, that's cute! I broke your computer and I got paid for it. Doesn't even have a brand on it. Ugh. Yuck. Nice speakers, though. Very nice speakers. Is this? Oh, that guy looks awesome. That's a scythe axe thing. Cool. Jesus! Brilliant! You've impressed me. Humstead. Humstead. Oh, I don't have the. I might as well get it. I might as well get the Healy thing. Guard the crusher. Improved bullet shot. Would I like to get muscle back? I mean, I kind of. Increase Mondo Vision! <laughs> Mondo Vision! This game is not fun when you move around too much. And it really does do a way too much setup for it. Gosh, I keep missing the combos. Right when the going gets good. And I always do like one more swing than I should, so I look like a nerd. So is this her house? Am I going to get yelled at at some point? Because it's like, you broke my house! I have everyone's fingerprint on file, which seems like a massive privacy violation. But I'm not even sure who we work for government-wise, so I guess it's probably fine. Can't wait to meet you in person. 
You know, My pleasure. I feel like you'd get to know me faster if you just called me and pretended you were a lady. Because I probably don't do background checks or anything. How long are you going to keep me waiting? It's well past our meeting time. D d d listen, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm trying to save the world. A little busy, a little busy. What is the proper manners for that, right? Like, you're, you're out on a mission saving the world, but then a booby lady's like, Hello, what do you do? What is the proper etiquette? Man, I get so many blood levels. Feeling real bloody today. You wanted to see me? I knew you would come. There's something about the way the graphics work that throws me off. I wonder if it's some sort of motion blur or the lack of it. There's no motion blur though. I guess I'm just not used to it or the frame rate's throwing me off. Just just put a door, man. Just put a door in there. Jesus. Outstanding. It's just you and me now. Let's enjoy this time together. It's just a job. This is this. we're done. It's okay. We're done. Mondo, have you considered, like, eating a heavier breakfast or something? Because your muscle arm is so out of place. Was muscle back a pun? Look at this guy. David, right? Pedicure. What are you doing? It's a pedicure. Here. You're really going to ask me that? To tell just by looking and acquiring unparalleled power through a manicure. Cool. Like my outfit. Quite fitting for a ruler. Oh, that smile. You plan to conquer the world wearing that? You look like a male model in a cheap underwear ad. You're a funny guy. What do you say? How about we join forces? Join forces? Yeah, why not? We can become kings and rule the earth. <laughs> Tempting offer. But I'm gonna have to pass. Conquering the world is so overrated. Plus, it's way out of style. And besides, if you go that route, we'll get tons of complaints from the gamers. Isn't this 
supposed to be an action game. Oh, oh, I get it. Fine. Then there's no alternative to crossing swords. Afraid not. It's all for the sake of the game. You know, I would love a game where they do this. But executing me. Do you? Nope, not a clue. Okay, cat burglar, open your eyes. It's time to die. I let me put it like this, right? <laughs> you really are clueless about everything, aren't you? Now what? In case you haven't noticed, I'm not a patient guy. Uh, yeah, that's right. You only eat soft-boiled eggs. Heck of a diet. How do you know that? What? These eyes of mine, they see everything, Mondo. Your past, present, and future. I can see the entire world. But if this is the dark side of the moon, you would never see the Earth. But I would love a game where they literally say that kind of stuff, but it's all in jest. It's like, come on, man, we're playing video games. It's time for, you, for, for me to beat up the bad guy. And it's just something they say. It's never meant as like a fourth fall break. It's just how these people think, oh, God, he really does look that tacky. Listen, man, you do not have the, the color for that. There's a reason... Oh, you can dodge that thing? Cool. Okay, does that into me now? Which is kind of a neat twist, I guess. <laughs> Gotta keep that sword up. Please tell me he's going to be a talking head. I love it. What was that for? <laughs> Don't so tell me. Do you need blood? <clears throat> Gather more blood. Blood? So the first two people we fought were monsters, and this guy's just a kind of a wacky dude, if anything. That's pain, but I thought it was just a robot arm, not like a... Good job, Mondo. You blew it. No kiss for you. Doesn't 
doesn't happen that often. But we ultimately let the target slip out of our sights. I'm sorry. It was my own weakness that caused this blunder. I don't know how to make it up to you. Rhonda. I can wait. However long it takes. It also means I do not have a home to whence I can return. Then, why don't you stay at mine? Oh, but I already live there! Oh, no! <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Ah, a little over two minutes. That's going to come out of my two-minute guarantee. <laughs> Total cool kills. Ooh. Slick. I got an A. That's for... All right. I think I want to...